Dr. Dave. Welcome to the second lecture of the trigeminal nerve. Sensory pathways from the periphery to the cortex are summarized below. There are separate pathways for touch slash position sensation and pain slash temperature sensation. All sensory information is sent to specific nuclei in the thalamus. Thalamic nuclei. In turn, send information to specific areas in the cerebral cortex. Touch slash position information from the body is carried to the thalamus by the medial lemniscus. Touch slash position information from the face is carried to the thalamus by the trigeminal lemniscus. Pain slash temperature information from the body is carried to the thalamus by the spinothalamic tract. Pain slash temperature information from the face is carried to the thalamus by the trigeminothalamic tract. Also called the quintothalamic tract. Pathways for touch slash position sensation from the face and body merge together in the brainstem. A single touch slash position sensory map of the entire body is projected onto the thalamus. Likewise, pathways for pain slash temperature sensation from the face and body merge together in the brainstem. A single pain slash temperature sensory map of the entire body is projected onto the thalamus. From the thalamus, touch slash position and pain slash temperature information is projected onto various areas of the cerebral cortex. Exactly where, when, and how this information becomes conscious is entirely beyond our understanding at the present time. The explanation of consciousness is one of the great unsolved mysteries in science. It is not widely appreciated that all sensory information from the face, all touch slash position information and all pain slash temperature information is sent to the trigeminal nucleus. In classical anatomy, most sensory information from the face is carried by the fifth nerve. But sensation from certain parts of the mouth, certain parts of the ear and certain parts of the meninges is carried by general somatic afferent fibers and cranial nerves VII, the facial nerve, IX, the glossopharyngeal nerve, and X, the vagus nerve, without exception. However, all sensory fibers from these nerves terminate in the trigeminal nucleus. On entering the brainstem, Sensory fibers from V, V, I, 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 X, and X are sorted out and sent to the trigeminal nucleus, which thus contains a complete sensory map of the face and mouth. The spinal counterparts of the trigeminal nucleus, cells in the dorsal horn and dorsal column nuclei of the spinal cord, contain the complete sensory map of the rest of the body. The trigeminal nucleus extends throughout the entire brainstem, from the midbrain to the medulla, and continues into the cervical cord, where it merges with the dorsal horn cells of the spinal cord. The nucleus is divided anatomically into three parts, visible in microscopic sections of the brainstem, from caudal to rostral, i.e., going up from the medulla to the midbrain. They are the spinal trigeminal nucleus, the main trigeminal nucleus, and the mesencephalic trigeminal nucleus. The three parts of the trigeminal nucleus receive different types of sensory information. The spinal trigeminal nucleus receives pain slash temperature fibers. The main trigeminal nucleus receives touch slash position fibers. The mesencephalic nucleus receives proprioceptor and mechanoreceptor fibers from the jaws and teeth. The spinal trigeminal nucleus represents pain slash temperature sensation from the face. Pain slash temperature fibers from peripheral nociceptors are carried in cranial nerves V, V, I, 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 X, and X on entering the brainstem. Sensory fibers are grouped together and sent to the spinal trigeminal nucleus. This bundle of incoming fibers can be identified in cross-sections of the pons and medulla as the spinal tract of the trigeminal nucleus, which parallels the spinal trigeminal nucleus itself.
the spinal tract of V is analogous to, and continuous with, the Sahara's tract and the spinal cord. The spinal trigeminal nucleus contains a pain slash temperature sensory map of the face and mouth. From the spinal trigeminal nucleus, secondary fibers cross the midline and ascend in the trigeminothalamic tract to the contralateral thalamus. The trigeminothalamic tract runs parallel to the spinothalamic tract, which carries pain slash temperature information from the rest of the body. Pain slash temperature fibers are sent to multiple thalamic nuclei, as discussed below. The central processing of pain slash temperature information is markedly different from the central processing of touch slash position information. Somatotopic representation. Exactly how pain slash temperature fibers from the face are distributed to the spinal trigeminal nucleus has been a subject of considerable controversy. The present understanding is that all pain slash temperature information from all areas of the human body is represented in the spinal cord and brainstem in an ascending, caudal rostral fashion. Information from the lower extremities is represented in the lumbar cord. Information from the upper extremities is represented in the thoracic cord. Information from the neck and the back of the head is represented in the cervical cord. Information from the face and mouth is represented in the spinal trigeminal nucleus. Within the spinal trigeminal nucleus, information is represented in an onion skin fashion. The lowest levels of the nucleus, in the upper cervical cord and lower medulla, represent peripheral areas of the face, the scalp, ears and chin. Higher levels, in the upper medulla, represent more central areas, nose, cheeks, lips. The highest levels, in the puns, represent the mouth, teeth, and pharyngeal cavity. The onion skin distribution is entirely different from the dermatomy distribution of the peripheral branches of the fifth nerve. Lesions that destroy lower areas of the spinal trigeminal nucleus, but which spare higher areas, preserve pain slash temperature sensation in the nose, V1, upper lip, V2, and mouth, V3 while removing pain slash temperature sensation from the forehead, V1, cheeks, V2, and chin, V3. Analgesia in this distribution is non-physiologic in the traditional sense, because it crosses over several dermatomes. Nevertheless, analgesia in exactly this distribution is found in humans after surgical sectioning of the spinal tract of the trigeminal nucleus. The spinal trigeminal nucleus sends pain slash temperature information to the thalamus. It also sends information to the mesencephalon and the radicular formation of the brainstem. The latter pathways are analogous to the spinomesencephalic and spinoreticular tracts of spinal cord, which send pain slash temperature information from the rest of the body to the same areas. The mesencephalon modulates painful input before it reaches the level of consciousness. The reticular formation is responsible for the automatic, unconscious, orientation of the body to painful stimuli. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.